Hey everyone, Goldbotch here, back today with a brand new episode for College Football Revamped. Our Razorback Dynasty is drawing closer to the end of the first season as we are here for week 11 against Ole Miss on the road. They're 6-2. They currently are the top team in the SEC West. Uh, again, coming up in the next few episodes, we have a bye week after this episode. Then Mississippi State at home at LSU to finish out our regular season. So we have three games remaining. We need to win them all in order to have a chance, a shot at representing the SEC West in the SEC championship title game. So again, if we beat Ole Miss, we'll have basically a four-way tie with three teams or four teams, excuse me, with two losses in the conference. That should in my, again, in head to head, that's going to give Bama the, the head over us. They're currently number nine in the nation. They're, they're back, uh, competing well so that means we'll need bama to get beat if we want an opportunity to make it to the sec championship but we got to first take care of business against ole miss today y'all looking at recruiting and all just want to really quickly show you guys uh some of the stuff we've been doing um tony wallace he's a guy that we you know we we jumped in on him late but he hadn't narrowed down his options yet and now we're leading him so very excited about possibly nabbing a 6'6 225 scrambling quarterback the number two quarterback on the list very excited about him we're still in the race here for chris james uh we're leading in him uh, in his category and uh we're pretty much losing out for brett johnson he, i don't think we're gonna get him which is unfortunate of course but looking at some other areas here we're right behind northwestern for joel pierce hopefully we'll be able to jump ahead and get him at some point i think we have a visit for him coming up on the bye week so very 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 soon very excited to get him to favor hopefully we can grab him um, looking at some other spots here, we did get a commit with Carl and, uh, Alexander last episode, and we're leading with Brian Hobbs. So there's a chance we're going to get two pretty decent free safeties to come into the fold here in Fayetteville. <laughs> and then looking at these athletes here, you still have, uh, we're leading one, two, three of these guys, and we're right here behind Bama. Maybe there's a chance, an outside chance we can grab him. We'll have to see. But y'all, the recruiting's looking better and better for us as we get into the action here today. I thank you all again for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's episode for our Razorback Dynasty here with College Football Revamp, make sure to support the video. Hit that thumbs up. Comment down below as always. And feel free to join here in the GoBotch family. Subscribe and hit that notification bell as we're on the road to our uh, 20,000 subscriber goal. So we're going to make Ole Miss wear their powder blues. We're going to wear our all white. They're number 18. We're number 10. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, if you didn't see last episode... Spoiler alert, it was a blowout. We destroyed Auburn 52 to 6. Big prospects coming into this game today for uh, Ole Miss. Hopefully, we can upset everything for y'all there. Injuries are missing Corral, their top quarterback. Broken ribs, he's probable. Maybe he will return, maybe not. And the right outside backer's out as well. So it's snowing here in Ole Miss in this game. Back to back snow games for us. <laughs> Let's get into the action. Let's skip the pregame stuff. Let's get into it. We're going to go Tails. And we got it. We're going to defer. We're going to kick it off, and we're going to get this defense out here. This defense that's been pretty good at times this year. Uh, I mean, they were killing it last last time out. So let's, let's get her started. Let's get her started, right? Kick it off from Ole Miss in the snow. Brooks in pursuit. Can't get to him. Right, can we please tackle the guy? He gets down to the dang 40 almost, it seems like. Okay, so here comes Ole Miss. Uh, we're going to see who comes out there at QB for him. And it looks like it's Corral. No? Yep, he's out there. Great. Fantastic. This should be interesting. And we're there in the backfield. It's a loss. This the Razorback defense has been one of the stingiest defenses as of late uh, in terms for the Razorbacks and, uh, and what they did last week against... Ole Miss, or uh, uh, Auburn now here with Ole Miss so far. We know they got weapons there here. They got they got some some guys that can play here. Watch the end around. Watch that direct snap. And they go on ground game to counter out. And Ely picks up four. South Carolina taking on FCS East. And so Georgia's tied with one of them. What the heck, Georgia? Georgia coming off a uh, loss last game where they got beat by Florida. Florida. Number two in the nation now. Here we go. Third down and 10. Quiet start so far for the offense out here. 
He's taking off. He takes a hit. It's incomplete. Corral's pass incomplete. So first game back from the broken ribs. We're going to try to bring the pressure to him all game long and really just disrupt him and try to make him uncomfortable out of the pocket. Uh, something we've been able to do with a lot of quarterbacks this season. So here is Perotti. He had some problems catching punts last game. And um, he hasn't been a very dynamic player for us. But this man, speaking of dynamic, he is every bit. He is, uh, he's had a killer year. <laughs> First on the Heisman race right now, the freshman, redshirt freshman. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance of at least shutting him down. And we got three on that pickup right there. So, uh, second down. We're going to go right back another dive here real quick. Come on, D. Come on, O. We need this ground game to be very, very good if we want a chance in this game. And uh, I didn't look to see what their stats were like, Ole Miss, in terms of defensively, what their rankings and all were. Third down. Let's go slot drive. We're looking at the slot here, so that's going to be Davion Warren. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Third and four. He's going to try and scramble. And Jefferson's able to stretch the field at will by doing things like that. Last episode, if you didn't see what he did, uh, he had a crazy circus almost uh, scrambling touchdown where I just made dudes miss like it was it was nobody's business out there. Right. Ugh, I don't know if we're going to get the blocks we want on this, are we? Let's see. Smith, man, what a tackle. They got some speed coming off the edge right here in Ole Miss. I'll tell you that. They got some lightning quick, guys. Lightning quick. Second and eight now. Oh my God! It wouldn't be an episode without me making some dumb pass, and there's that one right there. I read wrong. I should have passed over the top. Instead, I threw it on the flat. I made the wrong read. Exactly, 100% right, Kurt. I made the wrong read, and they're gonna make me pay for it potentially here. Ball in our territory. Oh boy, pressure's coming, and wide open downfield. Adelon pursuing first and goal. I can't give them a short field, period. I don't care how good our defense has been this year. If we allow the teams to have the ball in our territory to start a possession, more times than not, they're going to make us pay for that. Make us pay for it, right? And there it is. Welcome back, Matt Corral. I can't allow that to happen, guys. I've got to play smarter than that because this game... For both teams is gravely important if we win any chance at the conference championship wow oregon upset 48 to 41 second loss wow and there's some huge pac 12 games today uh that we we talked about last episode so keep an eye on some of those we need to get the game in control here they got a touchdown on us that's fine we just can't let one take one mistake turn into two, right? The Jefferson picks up 11. He's had an incredible year rushing. An incredible year rushing. <laughs> He's also broken the record, the school record, for 22 rushing touchdowns this season. That beats Alex Collins' record of 20. Traylon couldn't get the edge. I mean, they, these linebackers, and I mean, all of them, there's so much speed out here on LSU, the Land Sharks, as they call themselves. I mean, they're all over the place. Okay, um, third and six. Third and six. Knox may be the option here. And I threw it away. Wow. Ole Miss is causing disruptions right now in my in my front four, five, or whatever we got out there. They're really disturbing us. They're making life difficult, and they're going to be able to return this, and they're getting great blocking downfield here. Now we need the defense to show up. I'm nervous. 
see if they can match that on this possession. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He's got to throw it in a oh, my gosh. Morgan destroyed you. Got four, though. He got four. I mean, I'm legitimately I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on edge right now about this game because of the way things have gone so far. Oh, incomplete. Nice. Nice. George is losing to FCS East. What the crap is happening there? <laughs> That's not something you're used to seeing as an FCS team beating one of the top teams in the country. Tiny stretch. Here we go. Third and six. Come on, D. Come on, D. Come on, D. Oh, wide open. He's wide open. Pick it. Monteric. You've you got to get that, my man. We'll take the fourth down, but dang, man, you got to take that. Too, too cold of hands right now in this snowy weather. All right, Perotti back to return it. And he steps out there. All right, so uh, so far we have nine plays, only 31 yards, two first downs. But again, we gave Ole Miss that short field. They, we, we gave them exactly what they wanted. We don't give them a short field. We're probably tied or maybe three three point game instead. You're not going to shut this offense out. Period. I don't care what you say, Kurt. I ain't going to happen. <laughs> not this team. So it's second down and about two yards to go. This offense has got too much explosiveness to it to be shut out. Now, if I don't, if I turn over the football, sure, man. Gosh, they're quick. They're everywhere. They may, they may be make the toughest on us so far, though, out of any team so far this season. We haven't had to stress too much about the run game this year. And right now, at times, they're making life a little difficult. Oh God. Get out. Just pick up some chunk yardage. Keep possession. Don't do anything stupid with it. Nothing stupid. So it's second down now. They need Gotta play smart football. Possession matters most. Possession matters most always. And there's a juke back to the outside, inside, right there. Beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so first and ten. We're going to try a little jet sweep here. See if we get the favorable look. And they got Knox out there. All right, Burks, let's go to work, my man. And he picks up three. Got to find a way to get Burks involved. If we're not going to be able to pass very often, he's such a, he's such a great weapon. We got to find a way to get him involved out here with this offense. He's so good. He's so good. Turn up Woods. Beautiful. Beautiful. We kind of got him reeling a little bit here. We're going to go tempo now a little bit. We're not going to go tempo, actually? Okay, I, th I thought I held the triangle button, but whatever. You seem to know what I want to do, game. <sighs> Just run. Oh, get out, boy. Quit tackling me out of bounds, my man. Come on. First down, though. We'll take it. We'll take it. Woods has got bruised ribs. He will return soon. I didn't even know he was hurt. So that means Warren's got to step in now. Oh, nice. 77 rush yards now for this offense. Thus far, Traylon Smith. It's 29 of those. And uh, I'm going to go read option here. 14 rushes to three passes. That's about right. Good job. We just swarmed the football right there. They know what the play call is here. If there's any scouting report on this team at all, you know it's going to be on the goal line, expect read option, and expect the QB keeper. You know, that's that's more times than not we're going to get a get with this team. There's Boyd. He picked up the first at least. We'll take that. Okay. We're going to counter. We're going to go counter here. I think we may. Let's go. Smith made it in. He got clotheslined on his way. But that's the response we needed here. 50th touchdown of the season for this team's offense overall. He barely made it in. He got destroyed on his way in there, did he not? 
and Reed puts it through. Seven all is your score here. And uh, Penn State being tested right now by Minnesota out there in the Big Ten. Hey, I'm all four teams getting upset ahead of us. We need we need more teams in the top ten getting beat. Give us a chance to maybe make a case for the college football playoff, right? Oh crap. Okay, 23 yard return. That's fine. So Florida's got Vandy. That should be a win for Florida. Easy. Should be. I'm going to bring a blitz here on this. I'm going to bring a little blitz on this. Motion. Watch the motion there. QB. He's going to flats. Oh, what a block. That's a good little play right there. Drummond with the catch. I like that play. Credit given. That's a good good call. It's a first town for Ole Miss. Okay. They're lucky. That could have been a bad, bad decision right there. But they're fortunate that they got the catch instead of that being a pick and going the other way. So the end of one, we're tied here at seven against Ole Miss. Huge game for us. Let's see if we can keep it going. Let's go with the blitz here. Resume action now here in the second quarter. Screen. Oh wow, he got that pass off somehow. Third and three now, upcoming. Bring the edge, go Rover here. I'm bringing the blitz from Drummond's side, so it's dangerous. Right over the middle, caught. Dang it. They just brought the slant real quick right there, didn't they? Come on. Come on, D. We need to get off the field here. Upset alert. Oh my gosh, FCS East is leading Georgia still. Dropped it. Off the hands of the tight end right there. Gonna bring another blitz. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 45. Oh, he just threw that away. He got scared. He got scared by what was coming. Right at his face there. This bumper pull. They got trips this side. Shade the this side. Shade the side. Floating down. Caught by Mingo. Not going to get the first. Fourth and five. We'll get the ball back. So one top ten team's already down in Oregon. Oregon's losing, lost that game, so that's, that's beneficial for us. Georgia right now losing that game that should probably will not stand I have I have to imagine Georgia will pull that one out against FCS East but you never know after so they'll move back after that great so we got a penalty there I thought they were calling rough in the kicker and that scared me so we got the ball back at our own 10 Rare, rarely do we have to start this far back rarely Jefferson, five yards, makes the play. Uh, let's go quick base. Come on. Picks up 10 or 11 right there. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Let's go. All right. Let's go with a little play action dig. From their own 26 yard line. It's first down. Jefferson off the fake. Brad, I just think this. Let him out of bounds. That's my bad. I'm one for four passing today. I've done a terrible job with a pick. Second and ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boyd picks up four. Makes it third and six.
All right, so third and six here. It's third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Scrambling around. There he is. Perfect. Perfect. Woods getting involved. That's his second catch today now. These are only two receptions. If they stay back there like this, we can have Woods again right here. Except three. Not exactly setting the world on fire with that pass, but whatever. You know what? We'll take it. It's three yards. Better than nothing. Just trying to get a little confidence passing going right now, right? Go. Go. My man. My man with a 21-yard rush there. Beautifully done. We got some good blocking ahead right there, too. Really good blocking. St just solid the stuff there. So first and 10. Clock moving down here in the first half. Smith pulling down and getting a good play. We'll take it. Go dive. Three yards to pick up the first down. Where you see, you see what we like here. He's on the run, throwing right. Let's go, baby. I saw the matchup I wanted. Mike Woods was able to burn him. That's a touchdown pass, baby. We'll take it. We're able to pick it, pick on him. We're able to pick on him out there. Woods has been, he's been pretty solid today for us now. So very simple route. Let's just to go, just beat him and go. 14-7 Hogs lead, 4-11 left here in the first half of play. Wow. Wow. And I'm kind of figuring out some passing stuff a little bit more now. Getting a little bit more comfortable with the playbook with it. Which is good for us. Bad for everybody else we play. <laughs> Bad for everybody else we play, for certain. All right, bringing some blitzes here now. Okay. Bringing the blitz. And nice catch, nice pass. Second and inches now. Eight of thirteen is corral today. And we're going and then got doubles that side. Okay, we're gonna bring bumper pull here. Watch Drummond. Oh, nice keeper. Going with a little option play. That's that's nice. That's good play. Good call. Very good call. Alright, so first and ten. Go. They went right back into it. He breaks two, not getting through the third. Morgan's not gonna let that happen. Second tackle for him today. Second and eleven. I'd like to see where they're gonna try to go with this one here. Got trips right. Ooh, I don't like how exposed we are over there. Get over there quickly. Oh, they're wide open. That was that's on me. That's on me for audibling way late. And it didn't allow everybody to get matched up accordingly. Then that just left him wide, 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 wide open. Wide, 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 wide open. So now, wide empty backfield. In the the we need pressure here, guys. I get pressure. Watch this little play. And yeah, we were there. We blew it up. Some gadgetry going on here from Ole Miss. Coates with his first tackle today. Second and 12. From the 37-yard line. Second down. FCS and Georgia are now tied. <laughs> what is happening? He fights forward to about the 36. What is happening where FCS East is right there with Georgia? Georgia's just unraveling after the loss they had last game. Come on, team. Let's go, D. Let's go, D. Everyone went screen pass. You ran right by him. They're in field goal range. Shouldn't have been. Should have had him tackled way back. 
But the field goal team will come out. This is very, very, very makeable. I'd like to see somebody miss one for once. And they won't. Money through the uprights. 14-10. Whatever. We'll take we'll, we'll take that as a, a win for the defense. 154 left. We get the ball to start second half. Let's make it a 14-point swing here, shall we? Ooh, oh, he got me. There's Jefferson. A lot better in the second quarter compared to the first quarter in passing. A lot better. And we have time here to kind of run a little bit, so we're not going to go completely air-focused here in this two-minute drill. Go the weeks out here. Smith, gashing up the middle, picks up 14 on the first down call. 63 yards in the first half rushing for him. Now, we're going to see if we can catch him sleeping here. He got that safety drifting down. He's going to try and scramble. Just get rid of it. Live to play another down. <laughs> Live to play another down. Oh, crap. That was scary. Let's go deep out. <laughs> so with this play here, boys, we need to read read the guy that's on Knox. If he sticks with Knox here, we need to throw it to Burks. He's not. Uh, he did. We had both options available there. I probably should have hit Burks on the go route because he'd probably still be running a little bit. <laughs> But we'll take that. Clock moving after the timeout or the as time stopped. All right, we're reading Knox here again. We're running. We're running. We're running. Thought about running, but I don't know. Let's go read option here. Second and 10. God, they are all over me on that. They are all over me on that. So that's got to keep the clock moving here, and we're going to let it go. Third down. I'm going strong flood, so we're reading that guy again here on Morris now. It's Morris or Woods. Wrong read. We're not making very good decisions on those bang bang plays because that should have been an easy underneath catch. But I, I, my mind said underneath. My button said no. Let's throw the deep. Bad mistakes on my part. May come back and bite us. We'll see. Thankfully, we're not. There we go. We'll take that. Good sack there from Jalen Catalan. One of my favorite Razorbacks this year. He's had a, he had an incredible uh, real life campaign, and he's having a pretty good solid year here in our game as well. So I'm very happy to see him playing well. You gonna pellet? You gonna snap it, or you gonna sit? They're gonna take it down. That's fine. That's fine. Y'all y'all take it down as much as y'all want. I'm I'm not too concerned about it at all. As we get the ball to start second half, so it's a win for me. Ah, incomplete, sucker. Third and 17. Let's see if we can get a pick. Or are they just going to go on the ground? I'm, I'm assuming they're probably just going to go on the ground here. Run that clock out and get done. Could be wrong. Call it. Call it. Just one. Let's see if we can get a crazy punt return for a touchdown. All right, let's go punt formation here. Uh, we're actually changing Perotti out of that spot. Let's go punt return. Burks, please. Yes, sir. Arkansas is going to use their first time out of the half here. We'll see. Actually, let's call another one. I'm going to try to all out block. Let's see if we can block it. Here we go. And they're ready for it. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Oh my gosh. Rod Burks. Let's see if we can pull some magic man stuff here. 
No, all right. That's fine. Hey, I may keep him as that punt return because I think he's going to be a lot better off than Perotti was. 14-10, we're up on top. Let's get him started in half two. All right, second half of football, 14-10. Razorbacks lead here in the snow on the road in this massive matchup here between two SEC West rivals as we get after it. And, yes, I'll call them rivals because every game Ole Miss and Arkansas tends to play tends to be something memorable. Y'all remember the uh, incredible Hunter Henry just heave lateral backwards that led to one of the most miraculous finishes I've ever seen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Smith with a 45-yard gasher to get started here in the second half. What a play. What an absolute play. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and 10. The Razorback defense again with a solid first half play. Only allowed five first downs. Fires out to his receiver. Knox trying to get creative there. Couldn't really get anything going. That's fine. Knox has been one of our biggest uh, targets this year. I've had some poor decisions passing that's led to two interceptions, but I think right now I can, I think I can burn y'all here in this. What I say? I'm feeling a little comfortable today in the passing game outside of the incompletions I have had and the, the picks, but I, I see things I like. And I'm going to keep attacking those things, and right now I like Smith here for six. Smith for six. Touchdown. Easy. Nobody's there. You didn't pack the box. What you doing? What type of team do you think I am? I'm, we're a running team. <laughs> uh, we'll make it an 11-point lead here with the PAT as Reed kicks it up through and good. 21-10 your score, Fayetteville. The Razorbacks playing here today against Ole Miss on the road. In the Grove, is that right? The Grove? I want to know what the score is out there with Georgia. I want to know if they're still being upset by... FCS East. I really hope they get beat. That'd be hilarious. All right, so second half. Georgia is losing 20 to 17 in the fourth quarter, y'all. What is happening? We need that to happen to Alabama. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Ooh, nice block down the field. Fouché missed. Gerald forces him out of bounds. Mistake on our part. That was a bad. 11 to 17 is Matt Corral and his return from his injury. Broken rib. Uh, he's having a decent game. Oh, taking a shot. Overthrew him, though. I like the call. A little fake the, fake the uh, wheel. Or fake the uh, bubble. Went right back on a deep shot. We were ready. Actually, he just overthrew it, to be honest. Let's be real. He just overthrew it. Right over the middle, bumper pull, the tackle, six yard catch, makes it a third and four. Okay, uh, let's go blitz. Priority score alert, and Georgia has just taken the lead. Oh my. We just got abused on that play. Corral just stiff armed him to the snowy turf. Holy camoly jolly. All right, here we go. First and 10. Oh, I ran right by him. I ran right by him. Bye bye. It's okay, though. Mississippi State's getting blanked right now by AM. Second and six here. It's second and six. Ball on the 32 yard line. Right, Morgan. Here we go, baby. Oh, we watch Drummond coming through here. Little option play, and they hand it off. That's fine. We're cool with that. We're cool with that. Third and six. They're two of seven on third down so far today. They got that one, though. 
Them putting, to get, putting together a pretty good drive here on this, day, this Razorback defense. It's been stingy. It's been an op opportunistic defense at times as well. Let's see if we can find an opportunity here. They're bubbling it out. Fouché, you're the man here. And forced him out. Okay, second down and three. I really would like for the uh, mod team for this game to add some more Razorback uniforms. I don't know if y'all remember back a few years when the Cowboys, when the Razorbacks played at the Cowboys Stadium, they they had Cowboy-inspired uniforms that are uh, fantastic. Some of the best Arkansas uniforms I've seen. I'd love for them to add that into this game. Also, I'd like for them to add the all red um, look that we do sport at times with the red pants. But we'll see if they ever add any Razorback stuff or SEC, more SEC stuff. I hope they do. Oh, God. And Catalan ran right by him. Just ran right freaking by him. Right freaking by him. Whatever. 21-17. Good drive. It's a really solid drive there from Ole Miss. Way to stay in this game. Warren, we're going to take this one. Let's go, my man. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Keep his feet. He's hit and got away. Oh, my goodness He's gracious. <laughs> Davion Warren's like, I am not. All right, first and 10. feel like it's been a minute since we've seen our offense out here. Good Lord. Normally, we're out here quicker. Arkansas is up four. Goodness, he will not be denied right there. He looks tired or hurt. Please don't tell me that's the case. Okay, good. He's still out there. Oh, I got scared. Smith just runs straight downhill. Straight downhill. 120 yards for Traylon Smith today. What a game he's had. Uh, so first and ten for the Hogs. Ooh. And there's a face mask. There's a face mask at the end of that play. Yes, sir. We'll take it. We'll take it 110%. Thank you very much. Now we're in shot territory. We can try to take a deep look here. Potentially. Let's see what we got. So let's go deep out. Deep out is one of my favorite plays here. We're reading that safety here. He's in trouble. Underthrew it on the run. It was there. We just made a bad play. You know, sometimes he doesn't pass on the run very well. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he makes some crazy plays. Jefferson does. Throw him. They're, they're really packed in tight. Uh, let's go with a play action pass on this. Look at Knox. Oh, what a kick. Okay, credit given to him. That's a great defensive play. Because I had the wide open look there. I should have maybe not have floated it. I, I should have floated it is what I'm trying to say. Good Lord. Burks just go. Burn him. He lets it fly. Trying to take a few shots right now, and I know we're getting away from our identity a little bit. I, I don't need to be reminded. I'll fix it for the next drive. We're gonna we're gonna start to settle down and bring more uh, runs. Can I get a bounce backwards, please? Never, never. All right, so first and ten, Ole Miss with an opportunity. Can our defense step up like they have the whole first half? Start of the second half has not been good. Okay, good job right there. Monteric Brown making a big play for us. It's a tackle for a loss. Second down upcoming. And we are going to go crash three. Mingo Drummond to the left. Deuces. Perfectly done. Perfectly done. 
I got I, I gotta tell y'all, I like some of these plays I'm seeing out of Ole Miss's offense out here. I really do. Really like some of the gadgetry they got going on here. Oh, get in front of that ball right there. A bumper pull. You gotta see that and just jump. Jump that route. That's a pick six all day, every day. Oh. Ball on the 33. Gotta take that, man. God. Oh, jump that one too. It's a loss of one. We're on top of it. On top of it. Third and they're in the Big Ten here. Trips left. Oh, man, no way. No way. Who are you throwing to? Who are you throwing to? He let that thing air out. Nobody in the vicinity. So they're going to boot it. And Burks is back to return. Okay, eight yards. First and ten for the Razorbacks. Here we go. Read option. Again, ground game's our focus. We're going to get back to that right now. We'll start to pass only on play action opportunities. Okay. Taking away one of my go-tos, huh? Putting me behind the... Put me behind a little bit here. I don't like. It's going to change up my play calls and make me go to the pass well, quicker than I'd like to. It's second down. Command up. He scrambled. Tackle Jefferson man. just making plays happen with his legs right there. Makes a big play happen there. 91 yards on his day today now. Our 17th first down as a team. Not a very good play on my part. That's fine. 95 yards on the day for Jefferson. Go right up the gut here. So Georgia hung on. They won that game 31-20 to final against FCS East. Should never have been that close. Not against that type of team, anyway. One more play, perhaps, here. We're going to go slam right up the gut with Rocky and Boyd. He's at the 30. And he Boyd picks up a first down, 11 yards there. That will end the third here. We're on top 21 to 17. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game it has been, right? Um, I think we're still in com complete control of this game, but we've got to make sure we don't turn it over in the fourth quarter, and we got to make this defense. This defense has got to start standing up and being really stingy, like they have been at times. All right, quarter four. Hogs are on top, 21-17 on the road here against Ole Miss, number 18 in the nation. I don't like our play call here, so we're just going to go with a deep pass look. We're looking at Knox. They're pressing off of him now. Now he's scrambling. Let's throw it away. It's a bad play overall by Terrible play. Doing terrible play. That was a terrible the play. Did not do a good job fortunate that didn't turn into something worse. That ball wasn't Second 10. From the -yard line. Second Picked down. up six. We'll take that. So third and four. This is the eighth play of this drive. Caught by Woods, first and goal. Let's go. Mike Woods had a good game. 66 yards on a sixth catch right there now. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And we haven't passed very well overall, but I have liked some of our options we've had. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Rolling on the end zone, KJ. He's had a uh, decent day, um, I would say. I wouldn't say this has been a Heisman-type caliber game out of him. But he's kept us in the game despite his turnover issues we've seen. AM moves to five and five now with that win. Kellen Mond. And AM's really struggled this year. 
five and five. Wow. They've dropped two straight. They line up to kick this one away. And uh, with a 11 point lead again, here we go with the defense. Let's see if we can stop them here. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23 yard. All right. So here the comes the field again. They were Corral and company. Right up the gut, just gashed us. 12 yard gain on that one. Ely hasn't had a very good game. That's his only 20 yards on eight attempts. We're there for that one. Don't know why y'all running the ball so much right now. Y'all are down and you're wasting your time. This is against the number one rush defense in the country as well. Ooh, nice, nice. Clark jarred that ball loose and completed falls. Third and six, the four of ten on this situation. See if the front four can give me the pressure I need. Come on, Marshall. Oh. Get rid of it quick. Oh, it gave a bit. I think that's I think that's a, a good spot for them. Terrific spot for them. Dang it. We need to take away. He gets to about the 41 yard Crying out loud, man. Are we about to allow 100 yards rushing? Something we don't do very often. First down. Come on, D. Gets it. He's in space. Oh, He's my Lord. Hunk yards, man. <laughs> They're burning us right now. We need to do something a little bit different. I need to bring more, more pressure. We're bringing straight up pressure here. Man coverage across the board here. We better go to work. Better go to work, D. Read option. He's keeping it. Makes his way out to about the 15. God. Here's the eighth play of the series. Second and two. I mean, we're manned up. If they take a shot here, we're exposed, but we gotta go to work. Come on, Tarek. Screwed the pooch on that one. That was terrible. I mean, they've, they've had these plays working on us today. So here we go. They're going for two to make a field goal game. And I'm kind of curious to see if they're gonna go ground game. Oh, good. Good. Got a hand on it. 28-23, we're on top, 5-24 five, five, uh, left. Keep up, keep up. 32 yards. We know what the call is. We know what we got to do. This is a pretty crucial series oh, right here. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. The best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Jefferson with a big run, 14 yards. Let's go, my man. That's huge. Huge. Ball on the 43 yard line. Oh, I tried to spin. I tried to stick it and spin right there. Ooh. All right. Second and five. Mm. 12 yards there from KJ. 129 yards on the ground from him today. He only has one touchdown. Just one. From the 39 yard line. First down. Come on, come on, oh, come on, oh. We need to keep this offensive drive going. Keep that defense out there tired. He's picked up 10, 11 more right there. Good Lord. We're gashing y'all now. 150 yards for Smith. This one-two punch is just it's dang near unstoppable at times. 407 total yards of offense to 279 out of Ole Miss today. Keep that clock going. 
nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. So. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Knox or Smith will be open on this. He's on the run. Why? Why is your short throwing it? That gummit! I had exactly what I wanted to pass. He he was taken off downfield deep, and he threw it short. I mean, yes, I know I'm the one to press the button, but I press straight up on the stick, and I tap circle, which means you should be throwing a lob pass instead of a straight narrow arrow pass. That gummit! But I guess I am I am completely at fault because I shouldn't be trying to pass in that situation. I should be playing smarter. And now I'm giving them an opportunity here with plenty of time to run that clock down. There's a... Of course there's a face mask. I'm going to do everything. Our team's going to do everything in our power to get this loss today. And I must win. We can't lose the rest of this year. We can't. If we want a chance at the SEC Championship, we can't. Come on. Come on, D. Come on, D. Step up. Make a play. Step up and make a play. We need to get a takeaway. We'll take a sack, though. Tenth on the year for him. Leading the NCAA in sacks. He's had an incredible season. Come on. This defense has got to get us off the field here without them getting points. Moore just turning up and... How? How? How do you? Or how are we that soft in the zone? Were they able to just gash us for 20 yards to get a first down? This poor. There we go. Stop him there. Field goals aren't going to do them any good. You know what they got to do? They got to take shots. They got to get down the field. They got to score a touchdown. We got to keep them from having big plays. Ball on the 39. Come on, baby. Come on, D. Come on, D. Picked! McClellan! Let's go! Huge takeaway. The first of the game for the Razorback defense. And it comes here in crunch time in the fourth quarter. That's massive. First pick of the day. Corral back out of the injury. Jefferson's had a very suspect game today. And it's been a really a game of... Which team will make the least amount of mistakes? We They've made the least amount of mistakes. We just have been fortunate that our defense has limited them and, uh, I mean, kept us in this game like we have because we really haven't played incredibly well. I ha Face mask? No? Okay. So they have one timeout left, and they're going timeout crazy early here. Four or seven on third. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. I gotta believe my defense. I can't I can't afford to go for it on fourth and four here. I can't. Will be the return man. Come on, boot it deep. Booming kick. Let's go. They have no timeouts left. The quarterback comes back on the field, <laughs> and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He Come just on, needs dude. to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Can't let that happen. They're going tempo. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And caught out of play. Stops the clock. I'm just so upset with my 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 some ill-advised plays I've had today that have allowed this team to stay in this game with us. They don't deserve to. I got to play better than that down the stretch. Pick it, jump it. 
Oh my gosh, in and out of the hands. Third and eight. Very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to big third down, this Razorback defense is feeling it a little bit now. Patted and incomplete. Good job there, bumper pool. Fourth down and eight. Fourth and eight. Here we go. This is the game. I'm pretty sure. I mean, they may have enough time outside of... Gotta think. Gotta think. Oh, incomplete. Let's go. Jaquarius McClellan right there makes the play. Oh, Lord. That's huge. Okay, so now... I think there's 35 seconds on the play clock, if I'm not mistaken here. Forty. So with forty seconds. We're gonna go to adjust tempo conservative. Let's take a look here. I don't think there's a chance they get the ball back here. I think this game's done. I think after this snap here I can I can do the knee. Yep, this game's over, baby. This game's over. So we're going to go to victory formation. Victory formation, kneel. And uh, we're going to walk out of the grove here with a win. And uh, much... I mean, it was a wild game. It was a wild game. We didn't play very well offensively. We turned over the ball three times. And... Uh, it wasn't it wasn't good. We, we we made a lot of mistakes out there, but we did what we needed to to take a win here on the road against a quality SEC West opponent. And now that should be the the, the last of our hardest games. Now, Ole Miss, solid team. LSU, I'm cu I'm curious about that game. We'll see. Uh, Mississippi State's also a decent team, but I mean we should be able to beat these other two teams and finish the season with two SEC losses. And have an opportunity in the SEC championship game. But that depends upon what happens with Bama now. Um, and, and, of course, our other two games. We still got to play them. We still got to win them. Uh, but taking a look at some of these screenshots and all. Good game. Solid game overall. You know, it was sloppy at times. Certain. Certainly was. But when push comes to shove, we made the plays we needed to. And uh, we walk away with a win. All right, let's look at the stats for the game and see how we uh, stacked up. Nine for 20 passing. Wasn't a very good passing day. Uh, I was feeling more confident in passing, which is a good thing, but we just weren't weren't slinging it very well. 107 yards, one touchdown, three picks. Ugh. Uh, rushing, that's where we were doing really well. Smith, 164 yards, two touchdowns. Jefferson, 125 and one. Uh, very, very solid there. Woods had six catches, 66 yards and a touchdown. While Knox and Burks contributed for a little bit, but we weren't really, the passing was not very good today. To say the least, Grant Morgan led us and a tackling was six. Uh, we had a sack from Nicholas Nichols and Catalan each. We had a pick from McClellan and uh, yeah, that made up the difference there for the Razorbacks. Let's go ahead and let's get through the uh, the rest of this week. And I think before we end today's episode, we're going to go ahead and just sim, sim the, uh, the off week as well. So looking at some of the scores and stuff here, let's take a look quickly. Um, let's go ahead and advance to week 12's bye week and see where we move now in the top rankings. We're 10th right now prior to the game. With that win, we should uh, move forward even further into a top eight maybe. We'll see. I hope. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping there's some big upsets coming. I hope uh, Alabama somewhere loses in their next three games because we need it to happen. We got to get it to happen. Uh, we got locked out by Greg Riley. No, is that the quarterback that we... There's no way he locked us out. No, hold hold up. Hold, hold up. We are leading on him, right? Is this that guy? Okay, no, that was a different guy. Okay. I got, I got a little freaked out there for a second. We're still leading that quarterback. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, we're number eight in the country now. Um, looking at top scores here, Rivals Clash, you saw Cal destroyed number one at the time, USC. Cal is now number two in the country, ladies and gentlemen. Insane. Stanford, again, they upset Oregon. 
Uh, Wisconsin got destroyed. BYU now is ranked. Dude, what is happening out here? The rankings are crazy this year. Looking at the top 10 now, we got Florida number one in all the land. Their one loss came to us, right? And then, or do we do we beat them or they beat us? I can't remember. Uh, then you got Cal, US, or Ohio State, USC, Georgia, Penn State, Bama still ahead of us. They 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 blanked LSU twenty three nothing. Now they got Mississippi State coming up. Oh boy, there's I mean there's still an opportunity there. Right now you see right now we are it says we're first in the conference, but Bama Bama has us in head to head. They have us in head to head, so uh, we'll see how that plays out. Oh boy, Heisman watch. Did we drop? Nope, we're still leading. Still leading. That's good to see. All right, um, I'm gonna quickly check the recruiting board, make sure there's nothing. We need to do in terms of uh, we do have a lot of people coming in for visits on this game so it's gonna be really our, on this bye week so let's go ahead and advance through the bye week we'll get ready for week 13 we'll see where everything stands here as we get ready for mississippi state in the next episode we have here razorbacks currently right now eighth in the country at eight and two uh, the two losses are unfortunate of course that bama loss and then the the terrible game we had whatever i don't even remember the first loss it was Seems like it was ages ago, but uh, I'm really hoping some teams in the top 10 got upset here. We can advance further. Uh, we got a recruit ready for a visit. Okay, I already knew about some of these. Nobody else committed. We're fifth. We went up to number five. How? What happened? What? Auburn upset Georgia. 34-13. That dropped them out of the top five, or top ten, or they're number ten now. Uh, Oregon, Oregon got beat again? Dude, Oregon's got a bad stretch going right here. Purdue beats Penn State. Dropped them out. Uh, conference clash here. South Carolina with an upset win over Florida. Florida drops out of the top five now. What is going on in this conference right now? So now the top ten. Let's see. Who's number one in all the land? It's Cal, then Ohio State, then USC, then Alabama and Arkansas. So we are we're in this position, y'all, where we could be a playoff team potentially if we finish the season the right way and make it to the SEC championship. Very, very, very potentially could be. Now looking at this conference, Bama leads us in head to head. So therefore, there they are. They are. If they win out, they take care of their business. They are in the SEC championship. But if they get beaten, we win out. We will jump them and take that. Looking at the East right now. The Gamecocks of South Carolina will be in the SEC championship as the East representative. Um, the SEC's kind of beat up this year, back and forth. Let's look at the Heisman race, make sure there's nothing new here. Nope, still the number one team there. Good. All right, y'all. Uh, so stay tuned. Next episode, we play Mississippi State, and uh, we got to win them. We got to win that in LSU. And Auburn or Alabama is playing. Let's look at their team schedule real quick. They are playing Mizzou. Um,. I just don't see them getting beat. I, I, I really think Bama's going to win out. I mean, they lost two of their first four games, and then we dropped our chance there with them. And I, th they're gonna, I think they're going to run the gauntlet and go through the rest with dominating wins. I don't think Auburn's going to get them. That sucks, man. If we're going to fall short because of that, it's going to be it's gonna drive me crazy. But stay tuned. Next episode, Mississippi State, baby, coming in. To Fayetteville, four and six. We're number five in the land. But y'all, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below. Feel free to join the GoBots family. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell on the road to 20,000 subs. But thank you all so much for tuning in and being a part of today's video. Please stay safe and well. Have a blessed day. We'll see you all back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.